what kind of progress has been made on the city's strategic plan? I guess I'll uh, leave that question as it is for you. Yeah, we've uh, we've just passed a new strategic plan here uh, at the city uh, last last month in, in council, and it's our 2020 to 2024 strategic plan. Um, it's 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 about growing the economy, you know, growing the city, being responsible. Uh, our previous strategic plan from 216 to 219 was sort of set up for terms of council. You know, each council gets gets its opportunity to um, set a strategic plan. Um, and that one was really about investing, you know, setting the stage for the future and investing on where we want to go. Uh, we needed to put some plans in place. We needed to get ahead of things. We needed to sort of gather our thoughts. We were kind of, you know, we were, we were out, we were scattered all over the place for a while. And, and it really was about you know, we need to do this, we need to do that, we need to put a healthy environment plan, we need to work on our waste management, we need to put, and so we did those. And the past strategic plan was about, you know, doing those studies, doing those plans, putting those plans in place, and then this, um, you know, and investing in our roads and investing in our bridges and sort of getting caught up on a lot of our infrastructure was sort of the focus of our, our past strategic plan. Uh, the new strategic plan is really about, you know, taking those ideas and those plans and now let's start implementing them and let's start doing the work toward them. Um, you know, we have to be organized, we have to have a plan. And I know people get tired of hearing about, you know, consultants and studying this and studying that. And, you know, when are we gonna actually do something? And, you know, and I agree with that, but I'm also realistic that you know, we have a big city, we have a lot of moving parts, and sometimes we need to, you know, we need to sort of hone it in on, on something specific. And this strategic plan goes a long way into, you know, thriving and growing communities with a healthy and natural environment. Um, action plans, putting action plans in place for some of the studies and plans that we've already done. So I think what you're going to see over the next three to four years is just a lot of actual work where, you know, our staff start diving into, you know, how do we implement a green city charter? Now that we've talked about it, we need one. What is it? You know, how how tight do we get? How how aggressive do we get, you know, from an environmental perspective on, on a green city charter? So, so that's yet to be decided in that case. So the green city charter comes under the healthy environment plan and then... Correct. How, how and we it, put action plans in place, right. you know, to take that charter and say, now let's start developing that... Uh, uh, aggressive, you know, charters. Uh, now when people say, well, what are you doing about the environment? We're going to say, well, in our charter, you know, we're going to do this. We have a procurement purchasing policy. How green do we want to go in that? Do we want to start, you know, change our policy that it's not just about the cheapest anymore. Um, we want the cheapest price, but we also want an option over here to, you know, run on propane or run on electric, right? We're buying buses. So then council can decide, you know, as part of our charter and part of our budgets, you know, where do we want to go with this? So uh, we just need to change some of the fundamentals. We've been, we've been doing things a certain way for a long, long time. And sometimes it's a hard, you know, hard to change. We always say it's hard for our residents to accept change. Sometimes it's hard for our staff and our council to accept change as well. So we all recognize that we, we have issues we need to deal with. But uh, this strategic plan, I think, sort of dives right into some of those action items. And uh, I think it's going to be a fun couple of years. We've, we've caught up on a lot of our infrastructure. We've got a good financial plan in place. And we just need to continue to, you know, maintain some of that stuff. And I think what you're seeing in the 2020 budget is a, a good, reasonable budget that maintains our infrastructure, you know, up to where we have it finally. And also invest in some stuff that we get to build for the future, you know, some parks and some bridges and some different things that we haven't uh, actually invested in before. So it's a good balance of, of moving forward. I mean, that vibrant and growing economy is always a big part of we don't want to lose sight of that. And I think we've turned a bit of a corner and we just need to get some traction. And uh, I think over the next few years, that that new strategic plan with some of our action items is uh, people are going to see some, some changes and some things being done. So how does... Um in the last show, we talked about the potential down the road for maybe green bin composting and so on to see if that would work here. But that seems to me to be connected to healthy environment as well as uh, waste. So how do you get the two of those connected? Well, I mean, it goes to the, you know, it goes to the recycling, but at the end of the day, it's about creating less waste right from the start. And, you know, we could probably do a whole show on that. You know, how can we create less to start with? It's not about we have to get away from this mentality is where do we put it? You know, how do we find other places to put it? Or how do we expand the life, extend the life of somewhere where we want to put it? 
well, maybe we shouldn't be putting it in a landfill beside a river in the first place, but we can't change what's happened for the last 20 years. So let's start looking at ways that we can start reducing that so that maybe the next 20 years, we're not sitting here with, you know, a lifespan left on our landfills of 12 or 15 years left. And, and what's your plan after that? So it's just, it's just transitioning the way we think. And I think the way we do business to say, it's not about the most convenient way to get rid of things anymore. It's, it's, it's about, you know, how do we do things for future generations? Because um, it's catching up to us. Okay, so when I see a phrase like exceptional quality of life under the new strategic plan, uh, what, what does that mean? Can you break that down for people? Um, I mean, it can mean it means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. Um, I think it means you know supporting our economy, uh, a vibrant and growing economy, keeping those as a municipality. We want to make sure we're supplying those opportunities for people that want to start a business. We want to create a climate you know, for, for businesses to grow. We want to create a climate for tourism to, to come. And, and maybe instead of staying two weeks, how do we get them to stay for three weeks or four weeks or come back, you know, later in the summer for another visit? So I think when we talk about that, it's, it's even, and then when you, when you transition over to the people that live here, it's, you know, how do we make their life more affordable or easier or just, you know, it's what we try to do all the time. And it's, it's, as mayor, it's not an easy balance. You know, it's, it's hard for people to realize there's a cost to things and everything gets more expensive every year. And, you know, there's a lot of people out there on fixed income that don't have that luxury and they're trying to make do with less every single year because stuff costs more. So, uh, you know, as much as we want to grow our economy and there's a lot of things we can do that helps take the pressure off some of those fixed costs that we have that we really can't do anything about unless we start reducing services or removing services altogether. And, and that's a tough one for people because people get used to, you know, some of the things we get, but we talked about it before. Maybe we reduce our waste pickup. Maybe, you know, maybe we do it every two weeks instead of every week down the road, uh, but we got to get there first. You know, we got to get people down to the point where, um, you know, they don't have so much garbage. They don't have so much to go in the landfill. So mm -hmm. I think this strategic plan is, is going to put us on a good path and I'm excited what the next uh, three or four years are going to bring with it.